self-destruction. That's what we're going to talk about today on Strength for Today. It's Monday, January the 12th, 2015. Proverbs 21 verse 25 says, The desire of the slothful killeth him. What is the desire of the slothful? It's to sleep a little longer, to lay down a little bit longer, to take a little longer nap, to need to rest longer. There's no profit in sleep. There's no profit in slumber. Proverbs 19.15 says, Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. My uncle used to always tell me an idle mind was the devil's workshop. And most likely, if you're not working at something, something's working on you. And that's something you've got to remember. A lot of idle time is not good for people. And folks, if you're not working, you've got too much idle time on your hands. You've got to do something to profit your life. If not this life, the kingdom to come. There's always plenty of work to do to profit the kingdom. Proverbs 6, 6 says, Go to the ant, thou slugger, consider her ways, and be wise. Which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer, and gathereth her food in the harvest. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth, and thy want as an armed man. You notice that it says just a little sleep, just a little slumber. Doesn't take a lot before you fold over into destruction, and your tragedy comes quickly. Proverbs fifteen nineteen: The way of the slothful man is a hedge of thorns, but the way of the righteous is made plain. Here's the difference. There's a leader with the way of the righteous. God's leading you to profit. But Satan's leading you to destruction when you're slothful. Laziness is a sin. Activity is a blessing. Last verse, Proverbs 10, 4. He becometh poor that deeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. If you're always busy, there'll always be a profit. If there's always a profit, you'll never go without. May that be your strength for today and your hope.